Hey everyone, welcome to another Monday mail call. Um, I I should I just got back from Vegas, which I, I've actually been back now for a week and a half, but trying to get life back in order again after being on vacation for a couple weeks. Uh, it it's a it's a Kickstarter, that's for sure. It's a <laughs> it's interesting trying to get back into the groove. Um, I know I went a while without doing Monday mail calls, but the main reason for that is I went a few weeks without having anything, and then being out of town for a number of weeks, that was the gap. But like I said, when I came back, I found lots of stuff in my mail call, so I'll be filming some more of these videos. One of the, one of the letters I got uh, was from Steve Barrett, and Steve, uh, he wrote, uh, Hi Steve, I just returned to Arizona from Indiana, where we laid Denny Huff to rest recently. You guys remember Dennis Huff. He was in our, one of our early uh, roundtables. Uh, great guy. I've been friends with him for a long time now, and, and we were trading stuff back and forth. Uh, I was honored to sort through his collection uh, and found the enclosed Where's George notes in your pile. Uh, because Dennis used to do all kinds of sorts, at, like I do, and he was looking for certain things, and he kept stuff that he knew that I would be interested in, just like I kept stuff for him. And he'd set them aside in a pile. And uh, these were the notes that were set aside. Uh, first of all, he'd always send me the notes that had portions of bank teller stamps on them. And that was kind of interesting, Fifth Third Bank right there. But then he also would send me all the Where's George notes. So he's got this one here that's got the rectangle and the dog's paw over there. And he's got this one that says Royal Oak, Michigan on it as well. So, of course, I'm going to log these and continue, have them continue on their way. Oh, this one's stamped on the back, too. And that looks a lot like my stamp. That's pretty cool. Does this one have anything on the back? Sure does. Currency Tracking Project. Track me at wheresgeorge.com. So I will most certainly have these notes logged and can have them continue on their way to see where else they go. Um, Steve also sent me a link to what remains of Dennis's collection. And uh, a lot of it was stuff that he collected for pure enjoyment, not necessarily some stuff that was that had a whole lot of value, but he did have some valuable stuff as well. And he's looking to liquidate some of that as, and, uh, was looking for suggestions on that. So I'm going to take a peek at that and see what I can do over there. Like I, like I said, I apologize for the lateness of the video, but just trying to get everything back in my life, back organized again. I think I'm on track now. All right, so that's what I had for mail call. Uh, stuff that Dennis had set aside for me before he passed. So I most certainly wanted to share this. If you have anything for mail call, you can send it to Stu Plubeck Currency at... P.O. Box 171, Russell, Illinois, 60075. I've got other stuff coming up as well, so I'll talk to you again next Monday. Bye, guys.